The last few years have marked uh, really the coming of the age of artificial intelligence. Before that, we were not discussing that very often. This has not and uh, not reached uh, fora such as the G20 or Davos or others. Now, every government, every single government, especially in developed countries around the world, is preparing an artificial intelligence strategy. This is maybe because this is such a powerful technology that it can lead to very good results and very bad results. It is transforming agriculture for good. Is it transforming government? Is it transforming healthcare? At the same time, it is also behind things like the Ethiopian Airlines crash that recently killed more than 150 people. It is something that is so powerful that we need mastery of these tools. We need mastery of these techniques. We need to ensure that they develop in a way that is aligned with the public interest. And this is why all the superpowers in the world are preparing not only uh, strategies on AI, uh, that are aimed at uh, uh, aligning ethically AI uh, with public policy principles, but also they aim at reviving industrial policy in a way that leads them to come to dominate this field that is considered to be uh, increasingly strategic in global governance and in for setting the future direction of world governance. Now, the SEPS Task Force on Artificial Intelligence has met uh, four times uh, over the course of 2018, while uh, the European Commission was shaping the future strategy of the EU in artificial intelligence. There are two main uh, domains in which this strategy is evolving. The first is related to uh, ethical principles, and the second to policy and investment recommendations. Now, I, as a rapporteur of the SEPS Task Force, also was lucky enough to be appointed as a member of the European Commission high-level expert group on artificial intelligence. And this helped me uh, also make the link between the work of SEPS and the work of the European Commission. Now, what is the result of the SEPS work? Uh, we have come up with 44 policy recommendations for the EU, uh, which are very far-reaching. I think this has been a very successful process inside SEPS. And this has been widely read in institutions, among policymakers, among uh, corporate uh, stakeholders, among civil society. And uh, basically, those 44 recommendations uh, uh, point at two major directions. First, the EU should be courageous enough to set rules for artificial intelligence that look towards a human-centric AI, but at the same time also sustainable development goals. So the EU should practice what it preaches. It should uh, apply and practice, and also in the AI sector and domain, uh, what uh, uh, the EU has set as medium-term goals uh, for 2030. So realizing a, vis a vision of society that is really about economic, social and environmental sustainability. And the second thing that we recommend is that Europe acts together uh, towards uh, what we call a mission IT, a mission on or a moonshot, if you want, on industrial transformation and digital transformation. And in doing this, leverage the potential of AI, maximize its benefits, while at the same time ensuring the harmonious development of AI along with the European society and uh, the realization of the benefits, while at the same time the minimization of risks connected to this very powerful family of technologies.